Okay, now in this next very short video, I am going to see if we can rein in this text and these images and get them over here. So it's a little more about the div tag, and what I would like to introduce is the idea of adding another level of control. So I'm going to, underneath my body tag, put another div tag. Now since it went right underneath the body tag, the closing tag will go right above the body tag, right, because I need my sandwich order. So there it is. As you know, even if I save and refresh, nothing will change. It's just a div tag. Oh, something did change. Look, I got a new butterfly here. You know why that is, right, if you think about it? Uh, because on my style, I have a div that's just called div, and it has the butter one image. So I remember in my index, I did go up here to the egg and gave this an idea of egg. Why don't I go over to my styles and do another ID, ID egg? and put the butter image there, the butter one image there. I'll leave the padding on the main div. Save and refresh. Woo! That took care of that, but I am having the same repeat problem, so if things are repeating all down here, that's because they are not, um, they don't have, they're no longer copying this div. So did they also lose their padding right? Let's see. Nope, they all still have the padding right. So let's get that no repeat right and center on all these divs. Oops, gotta get these right. Save and refresh. Oh, Lordy. What have I got going on back? Oh, that's it. So as you can see, welcome to the world of web programming, web design. There is a lot of checking and rechecking and checking and rechecking. There they all are. Okay, now what am I gonna do back here on the index with my big div? Well, the very first thing I wanna do is give it an ID. I can call this, it's often called container, and it's also often called page but I'll call it container for now, and then let's style it. Uh, let's see, pound container. And I wanna give it a width. That's the main thing I wanna do. How big is that mid dot gif? 760, so I need to at least make it that wide. Where am I, container? A refresh and there it is it's nicely contained and that extra butter one now that I took it out of the out of this div it's not hanging out there anymore I've put it in its own egg div all right so there's still something not going well here let's take a peek at the let's see do we need the box sizing? I think we do. Let's put it in the big div. Um, oh, no, I don't want to put it here in the div. I want to put it in the container. It's going to be 
sizing, box sizing, border box. Let's see how that works. I also think I might need to move this, but we'll see. Save and refresh. Oh yeah, that's better. So when I think about it, I want this box sizing to happen to all the divs. So I'm going to cut it out and put it on all the divs. Save and refresh. That's a little better. Let's continue. So let's go to the container and get some padding left in here. Uh, container, here we are. Padding left of, oh, 100 pixels or so. Save, refresh. All right, things are starting to look good. I am going to go back to my list because I like the way this looks, but I do want that bullet to come back. So I'm going to go back. Do I have an uh, UL list style type none? I'm going to change that to circle. Yeah, there it is. Sometimes I don't remember. I could have gone to W3Schools to look it up, but in the next video, we will do some final styling.